Alrighty guys, so with that right now, welcome to Manila. I am right now rolling out of the domestic airport. Who would have thought that you can just easily walk out of an airport and I am on a mission. I'm in the city just for a quick layover and I gotta say in the past few minutes, weeks, I messed up quite a lot. A lot of things went wrong. I didn't really even feel like vlogging the past few days. So I want to tell you all about that today. We're going to fix the problems. We're going to get back into the group. But the past few days, I've been really taking some time for myself. And I, I just felt a burst of inspiration. And also, I want to share with you what actually the thing was. So with that, I need to get my jacket that I forgot to. Three weeks ago, I have five hours to do that. Let's go. out of the airport it offered me to either grab a taxi for like 35 minutes I mean you see the traffic over there or the other option would be to walk for 15 minutes and then straight take like the subway or MRT or whatever never did that in the middle I think they only have a few lines but it's gonna take me exactly to where I need to be and the total travel of time will be less than a taxi so yeah with that I'm like in a super local area here Check it out if you want. Hi. Um, Let me get it out. Alrighty, so in the rush of excitement, one of the things that happened a few weeks ago here is that I forgot my jacket, which now is back on deck. It's the only piece of, let's say, warm garment that I own. So it's good to have it back, like after three and a half weeks they still were having it, so big shout out to the Tambayan Capsule Hostel, I believe, something like that. Nice place. And yeah, as of right now, I'm going to be hanging out with a bro from Manila. And I'm on my way right now to meet a friend that I've been hanging out a few times in Manila with. I'm gonna catch up with him a little bit and um, yeah, basically the past week, the past two weeks almost you could say since I've been in Shargao. The first few days I've been just filming a little bit then on top of all my stuff but then I gotta say um, it sucked me a little bit. Everybody wanted to go out and I was like yeah okay went out once twice the day trips every day and it's, uh, at some point I just noticed hey I'm not getting ahead with anything that I really want to do, I'm not reading my books, not listening to any interesting stuff. And while the first week was really cool and I really enjoyed it, uh, towards the second week also some stuff started to happen. Like the one big thing was that uh, my audio in my camera just completely, let's say, was messed up. And basically I cannot use an external microphone anymore. And for the past few days I've been obsessing about it like crazy. I was like, where can I get a new camera? And in the Philippines it's really not that easy. Uh, just because I'm um, right now shooting with a Panasonic setup and um, you can only get it new, it's a little bit overpriced and I don't know. Maybe I would have done it, but then a few more things happened. Uh, there was this one day, still an amazing day and the video is probably up at this point already. Uh, crashed the drone somehow and it still works malfunctions a little bit but maybe we'll get it there and uh, yeah then crashed myself too with it also the camera almost almost broke the camera <laughs> with the audio input and with this video I really don't want to complain at all but I want to do I just want to share the situation in which sometimes things on the external really want to drag you down and really want to let's say really could stifle you like you were call it growth just call it um, going forward going forward in the direction that you want to go and these two factors 
really caught me off guard, got me off of, let's say, my very aligned like state. And what I mean by that is just the past few days and weeks have been absolutely, uh, no, just the past few weeks, not days, have been absolutely amazing in terms of like so much creativity, so much ideas, building up my second channel, and talking a lot about different topics. And I gotta say, there has been some days where I was just like, ah, oh, I don't feel like doing nothing anymore. And the past two, three days, what I did is, what really got me out of this a little bit, um, I just consciously said, hey, Danny, you know, you're a little bit more of an extrovert. You need to have some time for yourself. And this is what I sort of did yesterday, all day in Cebu, just hanging out, just was listening to some podcast, Brian Rose, London Real, um, some amazing guests, some people just, just talking about very interesting topics and ideas that I was really able to again kind of like find an interest let's say for something more than just um let's say having a casual downtime exploring which is amazing too but at some point i'm right now really in a state stage in life where i'm like super hungry just to learn and i really noticed how much i missed it in the past few days and weeks and right now i am on my way more or less uh, to bali yes tonight this is what's going to be happening we're picking up right now the second passenger and uh, I know it definitely sounds like first world problems and I usually hesitate to share things like that especially here on the, like just my travel vlog but this is just what it, what it is this is just a reality sometimes you do really cool stuff but you cannot really enjoy it just because you know that there's other stuff that you're selling yourself short that you're not on top of so right now for me really the challenge is to find a certain balance and I think with everything that we do you don't just want to hustle all the time you don't just want to be super focused on something and not do anything else and you know let the other stuff come short but you also don't just want to like be social go out all the time well that was fun and we're still definitely going to continue doing that in bali we're going to do it a lot more intentionally pick up long tip pick up long let's go my bro is <laughs> thank you man you're cool. <laughs> Dude, let's go. Show me, uh, show me the story, man. Show us the story. <laughs> no. Well, let's go. Because we eat too much. <laughs> Is that really short? Trying to embarrass me here, huh? Oh no. <laughs> Still look fresh, though. <laughs> All righty. So sitting down here, got boy once again. What's What's up, dude? Yeah. So today we have harsh contrast in the vlog. Sitting here in the restaurant, catching up a little bit. Gonna be, I don't know, having some meat probably. Yeah, actually, the beginning of this vlog, like I got into the domestic airport. No, I, I just walked out of the airport and I just like walked into the next village. Bought like some food, bought some new flip flops. <laughs> now I'm here. Wait a minute, I have a question. What happened to that? Well, that's it's motorbike, nasty. dude. Looks nasty. Yeah, it's falling off. It's already healing up quite well. You wanna see that? Yeah, yeah. I'll show it. That's the motorbike, man. That's nasty, though. Yep. Well, <laughs> that's your fault. Next destination, the direction we're headed to is Bali. Indonesia so I've been there once before and uh, yeah very specific reason why I'm going back and uh, I would say I'll tell you more about that once once we're actually gonna you know step the foot on some Balinese land let's achieve that you folks that I keep an eye on Robert Greene oh, some classics that I wanted to read in a long time and that looks like a good travel read. Freaking productivity bible. First day arrived in a Bali, sitting here in a hotel that I'm staying for one night that is right in hostel, actually right close to the airport. And I'm super surprised. It's just priced at like six euro or something, six bucks. And it's really, really nice. Just four beds in one room. I just wanted to stay for one night once I get out of the airport, just like I can walk over here. 
super nice coffee shop. So let's get some work done and let's move to the actual place that I'm gonna be staying here. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's a 45 minute ride. I get a nice podcast episode. Of Okay guys, what a scenery change. It is right now a beautiful sunset here in the rice fields, more or less of Chenggu, Bali. Behind me is the place that I'm gonna be staying for the next few days, maybe weeks, we'll see the tribe theory. It's actually a really cool kind of like mix of a hostel and a co-working space. And um, yeah, this video, intense. We made it all the way from Manila to Bali over here and this is where for the next few days and weeks I'll be spending some time catching up on all this stuff really taking it a lot easier gonna be honest with you the past few weeks have been so intense I'm actually even a little bit sick got a good bit of a cough coming on so yeah just eating good food fruits veggies and um, hopefully picking up the gym again in the next few days this is the reality uh, the let's say intense daily life catched up with me a little bit but I am super happy like so so pumped right now just standing here in the rice fields <sighs> big stuff is coming working on a very very big video and you're gonna hear about that very soon join me on instagram if you haven't yet there i keep you up with daily updates what am i up to and things also that can involve you sometimes i'm hey i'm coming to a new place who's around here always good to meet up with some of you guys and uh, yeah with that until next time